Hi, I'm Savannah Sievertson. I am a BCBA and I'm located in Utah. Fresh out of college, I began working as a one-on-one -on -one aid for autistic elementary school kids and loved helping them learn and hanging out with them and discovered that I connected with them better than I connected to most other people. Um, and then I was given an opportunity to join ABS Kids and was inspired to continue with ABA because it was a more direct way of helping these kids in life matters, not just school matters, um, and have found it very fulfilling to be able to give them the tools to help them thrive that I wished I had had as a kid, but didn't have access to. Being neuro neurodivergent influences everything I do in life, but especially in work, I use it to kind of compare like, okay, well, if I was experiencing this, and usually I have experienced it, how would I want to be helped in order to be a better version of myself rather than a, somebody that other people enjoy being around more. Um, so I, so it influences like the skills that I work on with kids and how I go about doing it. Um, and my goal for them is to enhance the strengths they already have and build on those skills to help them not need to engage in harmful behaviors to be able to express themselves or get their needs met. Advocacy within autism is crucial because oftentimes it's not autistic people teaching people about autism. And at least in my experience, they tend to get it wrong. Um, and currently attitudes and policies around autism are put in place based on how neurotypicals view and understand autistic people which is not an accurate view. Um, and having autistic people explain their experiences as well as their needs for support um, is more helpful in general because we know what we need just like any other person knows their own needs better than somebody else's. Um, and there are, it would help avoid assumptions based on outward appearance or how like obvious quote unquote their autism is because all autistic people are a hundred percent autistic and oftentimes attitudes and policies regarding autism are very centered based on how inconvenienced other people are by a person's autism, not how the individual is impacted because of their autism. And so it like shapes, like that viewpoint has been shaping a view that like, one type of autistic is favored over another and we're just seen as a burden rather than like seeing just like the support and strengths that each autistic person has regardless of how we're viewed from somebody else's perspective of what our needs are i think that i've had too many meaningful experiences working with autistic kids and teens to name one specific one. Um, but the my favorite outcomes of 
months slash potentially years of being in ABA therapy is seeing their confidence grow, um, especially kids that like in the beginning either had no way of communicating or at least no way of being understood when they tried to communicate to having an effective way to communicate, whether it's speaking or they figure out how to use their AEC um, and just like the excitement that you can see in them when they kind of figure it out um, and seeing the how much like the skill growth can help decrease the more challenging slash harmful behaviors that can happen um, as they learn how to communicate how they're feeling and what to do with those feelings in less dangerous ways um, is really cool. So all in all, just seeing the growth and seeing them become more themselves throughout services has been life-changing. There's a saying, I don't know who started it, but it says, um, awareness means you know I'm here and acceptance means you're happy to see me. And I think that as a message can be life-changing for everyone, um, especially when it comes to autism. Um, it's important to acknowledge that the autism is there so that you can, I mean, it helps you be more understanding and helps you kind of know kind of like what supports will be needed. Um, but it shouldn't stop at awareness. It should move into acceptance and finding the beauty in brains that are different and seeing what they are able to contribute, even if it's not what you might have expected, it can still be great. And oftentimes people in general are better than what we thought they were going to be. We just have to see them as they are and welcome them as they are without trying to change them.